Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic School! Britannia style! And as you can see, Lilith is with us as always and I am with her. Yeah, woohoo! <coughs> and as y'all can see, we now do have her in full Terra Steel armor. So, let's grab a Terra Steel ingot. And I have... Look, I have been busy getting us ready for fighting the Gaia Guardian again. So, we have 10 golden apples apiece and several different potions. This one gives strength 2, instant health 2, regeneration 2, resistance 2, and absorption 4. And I've got these for both of us. So, here's your apples. Regular golden apples, okay. Yeah, it would have taken even longer to get enchanted. You ready to attempt this? Let's try. You know, it would help if I, uh, went for Here's all my arrow bodies. I am going to empty out, move everything off my hot bar that I'm not going to need right away. Alright, I'm about to summon this guy. You ready? Where is this guy? Got him below a thousand.
He's below 500 now. That purple stuff is bad. Oh, I've seen this before. Just kill the waves of mobs. I don't think we can damage him right now. No, we can't. Alright, we can hurt him again. If we can catch him. He's under 300. what you gotta do. Did I kill him? Yeah. We did it. Let's go back to base. And now, now that we beat him, we can resummon him and fight a stronger version if we want to. Ah. I don't want to, but it's something that can be I done. I didn't even eat any golden apples. <laughs> I'm down to four. Now, let's see what he dropped. I didn't even use my uh, resistance to potion. Uh, I don't know if I did or not. I think I drank both of them. Uh, I have 14 Gaia Spirits. Let me see them. Pick them up there in front of the chest over there. All right. Yes. All right. Pull out the Lexicon Batania. Okay. Uh, Lexicon Batania. Click okay. on the Alpha and Mancy. Huh? The Alpha. The Elf stuff. Yeah. See, there's a Ritual of Gaia 2. We're not going to do it, but it can be done to get more of this stuff. The Gaia Spirit, because it's the only way to get it. Okay. Now. Go into Bobbles and Accessories. I'm looking for a certain item. What? Uh, I gotta find it. I uh, don't think it's that. No, that's the Great Fairy Ring. We don't want that one. Is 
So there's a few things that can be done with these Gaia Spirits. Where is this one? Ah, I'm just going to search it in the... Might help if I knew how to spell or what I was looking for. Ah, okay. Go to the bottom one and just type Tiara. It's the flu, flugel tiara, or however you say it. You got it? The flugel were once a dominant species in the lands. Now they're but a race, past extinct, once created as god slayers who possess the ability of flight. The use of, usage of Gaia spirits allows for small replicas of their power in the form of the flugel tiara which at the cost of mana allows for flight. Not all is perfect with reproducing old technology, though the tiara has its flaws, that meaning it can't provide the power of flight consistently. If used for over 30 seconds without letting it recharge, it'll stop being able to provide the power of flight. A flight bar is displayed on the HUD to help monitor this. In addition to simple flight, the tiara grants the wearer the ability to dash and glide, pressing the spirit key. Sprint key, control by default, while flying provides one isn't provided one isn't sprinting already, will start a dash, a quick speed boost, in the direction the wearer is facing. Dashes can be done every two seconds. Gliding allows one to gently descend to the ground while also covering a descent horizontal distance decent horizontal distance. It also prevents fall damage. To glide, one would simply sneak while falling. Gliding can be executed even with an empty flight bar, but while gliding, the flight bar regenerates slower than normally. The TR is four Gaia spirits, three on the top, one in the very center, one ele or two elementium ingots, one on either side of the center, one ender air bottle in the center bottom, and two feathers. Ready to get an ender air bottle? Or do you want me to continue reading really quick? Go ahead. Combining the TR with a variety of quartz, uh, spec species allows for it to create a variety of different kinds of aesthetic wings for one, one for each type of style of quartz. The recipes for various types of quartz can be found in the decorative blocks. Entry under miscellaneous. Elven quartz is acquired with trading nether quartz with the elves. Uh, the... Combine it with a bunch of different types. So, anyway, yeah. Well, we're going to have to go beat the end dragon if we want to get the bottle. So for that, we need Eyes of Ender. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see if we have any Blaze Powder or Blaze Rods. We have 18 rods and one powder. Toss them here. Oh, they're right there? Okay. Luckily, there is a way, if we didn't have them, to spawn blazes in the overworld that would give us blaze powder instead of blaze rods with Matania. Alright, I need... Can you grab me four iron? Four. All right. We've got more than that, if need be. I'm just making a compass so I can make an ender compass. 
so that we can go to the end. I would say keep whatever potions you had with you and bring them with you. And I recommend I the Rod of Skies. That should be in my bag. And your bow. Preferably your crystal bow. Crystal bow's the better one. It's one you don't need arrows for at all. I don't need arrows for my other one either. And I have an interesting glitch here. I have resistance yeah. too, and it's not going away. Yeah, all of my stuff's not going away. Hey, I'm not going to complain, but let's head to the end. You coming? I'm following. I'm following. Takes me a minute to get up and over this. You know, we left without me having uh, any glass bottles. We're going to need glass bottles. Uh, go back. Or you'll zip back. Wait here. Sorry, I'm so excited about going to the end. I'm just so excited about going to the end. but it doesn't require any enchants to have infinite. And I think it shoots a little faster, if I remember right. Oh, this Rod of the Seas is going to be fun to use against Enderman. Rod of the Seas? Yeah, create water source blocks. Endermen are going to love that. Yep. It's becoming night. You might want to sleep. Hopping in bed already. We probably don't need this many glass bottles, but yeah, I'm going to make this many anyway. Many you making? I made 50 something. I see you on a tree. I'm coming by. I just got wool and a sheep head. Yep, I've been there. <laughs> I almost shot you thinking you were a creeper. Hey, I'm way better looking than a creeper. Hey, not that I could tell from, you know, far off. I let him out. I don't know how far oh, this I is going to be. All I saw from far away was green. <laughs> I don't know either, and you disappear on me again. I'm in the forest over here. I'll start clearing some trees out for you. 
Hello. This away. This away. Yeah, I think it sucks that your uh, sash and other baubles don't work for you. Eh. Life happens. So if my people want to see them, they can see them on your screen. They can go over and visit you. Seriously. Did you land in the water? Yes. It's right next to where I live at. I love this compass. It is so useful. Oh, I wish this compass would tell me how far it is, though. Nice. Okay. Row the skies to get on top. Seriously? Did you miss the jump again? It, it only sent me, like, one square forward. It doesn't send you forward very far. Hold on a second. You got your workbook on you? Uh, don't worry about it. We'll no. just go find the portal. It might be easier that way. Might not be as many eyes vendor that we'll need. Actually, I guarantee it'll be less eyes vendor this way. Alright. Guess what? Dig a hole next to this one so that you don't die of fall damage. This thing must be far down here. Possibly. I feel lava. Yep, lava. Work book home. Work book home. Yeah, that took us straight down to lava and full bedrock. Shit. Well, um, we have a problem. What's that? My bag just went into the lava. What else is in your bag? Uh, 
most of my rods. Those are replaceable. Do you still have your rod of the sky? Sky and sea rod. Okay. I have my crystal bow. Most of my equipment was in there. Do me a favor and make a cake, but don't place it out. That compass. Thank goodness for an ender crop. I need sugar and milk. We're going to do this the uh, easier do way. Have... Do you have any buckets? Yeah, just dump the water out of it. God dang it. I went back into my inventory. There you go. Set your feet. I need three buckets. Three buckets? Yep. Three buckets of milk. Well, let's make two more. I can make them real quick. Whew, I can't believe that led straight down to the bedrock like that. Oh, and I believe my ring was in there. Which ring? ring's not on me. What ring? My ring's not on me. The one that allows me to craft. Oh, fun. The assembly halo. That's actually easy enough to remake. I can make you another one easy. Got a cake, though. Got a cake. Good. Give me the cake. I'm going to make this cake even better. Surround it with eyes vendor. Come outside. Now, I feed it eyes of Ender. Let's go. Are we ready? Eat it. I think she just came down and attacked me. Yeah, she did the same thing to me. I don't think she likes us uh, taking out these crystals. Yeah, I think you're the only one taking out crystals, baby, because I haven't hit one of them.
sure if there's any more. And she's nothing. What's wrong, Ender Dragon? Are you scared? Yeah, we've got her down in, at 120 something. Oh, 87 now. Yeah, that's the really only hard part of the fight anymore. Once you got armor like this, predicting her movements so that you can actually hit her is really the only hard part. comes. He's at 12.
Yes. We also got her head. Yes. All right, now get your Lexicon Botanica out. Go to Ender Artifacts, Extracting Ender Air. Hold on. Okay. The air present in the void of the end seems to have some mutating properties. Right clicking with an empty glass bottle while in the end will capture some of that air, which can then later be tossed similarly to a splash potion, turning nearby stone on the landing point to end stone. Guess what? You got there. We have 54. Alright. Let's sleep. Alright, are you ready to make some tiaras? Aren't I going to look cute in a tiara? It, I would just look so pretty in my tiara. Let's see. We need... Okay. That's what I thought. I gotta throw some uh, mana still through the portal. By the way, here you go. And we need feathers. Alright. All right, here's what you're gonna need. Two of those. Two of those. Four of those. Oh wait, you do need one more thing. You need that. All right, feathers on bottom left and right. Bottle of Ender Air in the middle. I remember. A bottle. Okay. I have it. You now have the tiara. Now, here's the question. What are you going to mix yours with? Because. See, it doesn't go there. I don't know. Okay. See no wings? I'm flying. Alright, but I want mine to look cool. We don't know which we don't know which one of the quartz types will give what type of wings. So it's a shot in the dark of which one will be what. Find some quartz. We don't have any quartz. Yeah, we do right here. I've got one piece here. There's uh, 21 more pieces in that chest right there. Okay. Of course, to make it black, we need to surround a piece of coal in it, and that's what I'm going to do. Yes. 
Or maybe, maybe I'll just throw it through the, uh, through there. Maybe I'll get some elf quartz. So which way are you doing? I'm doing elf quartz. Can you see my wings? No. I have pixie wings. Like dragonfly type wings. Uh, I need a piece of blaze powder. Oh, we don't have any. So let me show you this. This is really cool. We're going to need a few little items. We need to create a fell pumpkin. We need string, bone, gunpowder, rotten flesh, and a pumpkin. Flesh. That's all we need. And a Put the pumpkin in the middle. The string on top center. The gunpowder bottom center. The bone on oh, the. Now we need a piece of gunpowder. I'll see if I can find any. Is he directing me or are you still looking? I'm still looking. We may be out of gunpowder. I got it. But well, you've got gunpowder? I'm seeing what the black quartz does to the TR because you can change these oh, out the anytime. Hand. What was the last thing? Oh, yeah. A fell pumpkin. Yep. Okay. Now we need two iron bars. Oh, that's cool. Black coal gives you one black wing. We probably don't, but we can make them here. I got iron. There we go. Bring the pumpkin. Here should be good. Put the pumpkin on top of the bars. All you gotta do is target the wall behind it. It's a blaze that doesn't drop any blaze rods, but drops blaze powder. Cool. Handy way to That's get blaze cool. powder in it. Yep. I am Sephiroth. I have one black wing. Let me get one of those blaze powders from you. There you go. Have it all. I don't want it all. I'm just seeing what different wings look like. 
Oh god, you gotta surround it in it or something. Yep. I have to make eight of them. Okay, tiara. No, you just took my tiara. It's right there. Oh, those are cool looking wings. What does this look like? Because remember, I can't see them. You got the same ones I do. They're uh, like Phoenix wings. Cool. And you leave a fire, tr uh, fire particle color trail behind you. It's particles in the color of fire. And they flap while you're flying. And the flight bar is pretty long. It lasts for 30 seconds. Yeah, but that's a pretty long time. Uh, how do we play again? Space. It's just like creative mode flying. Double click space bar. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work. Oh, fun. Well, how do you like Batania so far? Other than the fact I can't see or really do nothing, it's, it's spectacular. Wow, I'm already recharged almost three full flight bars. By the time I glided to the ground. Well, guess what? What? Where did you put the Ender Dragon head? Take your helmet off. Put it on. Look at the moon. Right over there. Under this moon you have graduated Batania. Congratulations! This is the last episode of Batania. Which means next week we start a new mod for magic. And I'm not telling the audience which one. We'll just have to come back next week and find out. Yep. But I do want to thank everybody for watching. Down in the description you can find a link to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, and a link to Lilith's channel. I highly recommend checking that out. You can see things from my point of view, at least. Did you just shoot me? I lost one heart. Oh, God. But, I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you next week, guys.